Crown. Yes. 1992 and 93. The entire work, mind you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Slayer. I mean, you know, you got to be explicit about these kinds of things. Oh, I love the old Sierra logo. It makes me so happy to see it every time. Me too. Warm fuzzies. Yeah. Uh, My nipples are hard. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. It's King's Quest 6. We have made it all the way to King's <laughs> Quest. <laughs> we have made it all the way to King's Quest 6. And it's only been like half a year since we started doing our Serious Sundays. That's pretty astounding. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially uh, with in, the double in my features. Mind, like yeah well yeah the, well we kind of had to do the double features otherwise it would have been about a year to get to this point and oh yeah for sure yeah, yeah. For sure. there's a whole lot of sierra to get through from here um but look so, look how far uh, yeah, we've come get... i mean there's yeah, no kidding. There, there's a v in the number now yeah, yeah there's a v it's and then the... think send something after it as opposed to ahead of it yeah. you're darn right you're darn yeah. right it seems just yesterday the v was at the end that's true <laughs> it's been quite a whirlwind as far back as perils of rosella <laughs> and we just blasted through king's quest 5 uh but we're spending way too much time on the opening screen right, so let's right, just right. Let's get just right go. into the intro this is the talkie version so text <laughs> obviously oh oh that song uh, get off like my throne early... alexander <laughs> How much you love in this early 3D. Oh, it's great. Alexander, here you are. Oh, you're still not thinking about Cosima, are you? <laughs> Shut up, Mom. I suppose I am. <laughs> Son, it's been months. You've got to pull yourself together. Mm -hmm. After all, you only met her that once. I know. Have you discovered anything about the land of the Green Isles? No. No one's even heard of it. It's like she's just vanished. I wish I could help. Please try to think but about I something else. But I don't care. Dear. I'll try, Mother. Out. Valenice. You realize out. at this point, like, Valenice, Valenice's, like, lower torso has gotten more play in this <laughs> in this series. That just, than, that like, all of her, it's true. Of her, yeah. uh, oh, man. The crisis he's going through because he misses a girl. I Ooh. know, right? Teenage <laughs> angst. <laughs> Some girl he met one time. A deliciously uh, unorthodox storyline. For... How long, so, do you imagine it took to render this scene? Oh, years. <laughs> years. They were doing it since the early 90s, since 1990. Oh. Oh. What's this? Oh. Oh. Alexander, I feel so alone. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alexander, I wish you were here. This is not gonna I'm gonna have Shima. <laughs> Wait, mother! Mother, come quick! Quicker! <laughs> Faster! Alexander, what on earth? We have to rotate Your first. Is a ghost. Mother, I saw Kasima. Stage blocking. She was in the mirror. In the mirror? The magic mirror? Yes. No, and the other one. How to the find other it. mirror. The stars. <laughs> I saw the stars outside her window. I can navigate by the stars. Oh, Alexander. If you really go... It will be all right, Mother. I promise. That's a bullshit. yard stare there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and I, nothing tell, told me that Prince Alexander is a particularly, like, apt or adept fucking navigator either. <laughs> no, like, spending... Your Alexander, time will you, Alexander, will you quit it with the, your navigating by the stars shit? <laughs> <laughs> this is like your music, isn't it? <laughs> you're practically you're you're a magician, man. Just just fucking learn another spell. <laughs> you're a wizard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he was raised by Mananan, and I, he obviously has the chops because he fucking like <laughs> was able to cast like six different ritual spells on his first try. <laughs> Well, the with thing no is, no spelling this... errors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, with no spelling errors either. Yeah. Well, the thing is, in this universe, magic's pretty goddamn easy. 
It's true, it's true. King Graham, all he needed was a wand and to read a book for like three seconds. It's all object based. There you go. Oh, yeah. I always like this part, though. It just feels so epic. Yeah, you know, at the time. Mm. At the time. Yeah, I mean, we're, we joke around about, like, how primitive the 3D in this game is, but, like, this was a fucking amazing accomplishment. Do keep in mind that this game was released in 1992, yeah. which was the same year that the Super Nintendo was released in North America. Back so the they had like full 3D CG with voice going on on at the same time that everybody was just starting to like freak out about Super Mario World. Nothing. I don't see shit. <laughs> nothing. Still nothing. Whew, thank God we're privy to this bullshit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, you need, you oh, need to know just how much work he had to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although, how is he navigating by Land the stars ho. right now? Land ho! Land ho! <laughs> that reminds me of Cosima, and I don't know why. Oh, there's my favorite guy in the game, right there on the, on the far left. Why did you uh, hire pirates? Arm pumping pirate guy. You're... These could be actually the same pirates that uh, that spirited him to Daventry in the first place. I mean, weren't those guys kind of shitheads? Sure, sure, but give the shitheads enough money. Yeah, that's true. I mean, your father's a goddamn king, but you know, don't worry about it. Yeah. With an endless chest of gold, but you know, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> by all means, hire shitty pirates, or maybe they're the best pirates. Maybe that's why he they could them. be. Yeah. We'll, we'll never yeah. know. They might be just Alexander's loser friends. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander's <laughs> well, coincidentally pirates. enough dressed like pirates. <laughs> he only hangs out with like <laughs> middle aged men. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're, they're not people that don't just fucking tell him to, to fuck off with the <laughs> uh, the Cosima talk for six months straight. <laughs> Oh, well, well, maybe they they're dead now. Great. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> that is a, on this clear, moonless night. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, it is mooned. It's not a moonless night. There's a moon. Yeah, there's absolutely a moon in sight. It's right there on the it's screen. It's right fucking At the same there. time. <laughs> yeah. They kind of ended the animation before the music. That's okay. <laughs> Kang's Quest! Roberta Williams and Jane Jensen. Who's Jane Jensen? Yep, old Billy Skirvin. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, far, there have only been three names shown in the credits. Well, there you oh, go. There's, there's the musician. JJ. You yep. go, JJ. The the hutch the hutch and the Schrodes. Hutch and Schrodes oh. don't walk into their room when they're busy. I'll tell you that much. True love. Yalki. Yalki. Lindsley. <laughs> Props <laughs> to the the people that programmed this though. Oh, absolutely, man. I'll tell you. The SCI engine was a was a real <laughs> piece of work. Uh, this is some this is this is a quality game. It really oh, is. Yeah. Alexander awakens to find himself Abruptly. on an unfamiliar beach. For a moment, he is too dazed to remember how he got here. His loser friends are then nowhere to he be seen. Does remember <laughs> the shipwreck, the <laughs> sea. Just as the he had sea. seen his men safely into the lifeboats, a gigantic <laughs> oh, wave picked him up did. and tossed him overboard into the churning sea. So how'd that, that navigating the by the stars shit work out crew. for you? <laughs> Debris from hey, the shipwreck here. is scattered along the shore. That's true. But of the lifeboats and his men, there is thankfully no trace. Wait. He thankfully? Only hope and pray that the lifeboats survived the currents, and that his men made their way safely back to Devontree. On a lifeboat. They totally did. Yeah, he's, he's just being, uh, he's just, just being, you know, um, hopeful. Delusional? Well, yeah, hopeful. here we are. Yeah, here we are on the beach of the, uh, of, well, wherever we are at the moment. Yeah. Um, but we made it. We made it somewhere at the very least. So here we are. Yeah. And we are Alexander. This is the, the second appearance of Gwydion 
uh, although he is no longer Gwydion, in a King's Quest game. In his uh, iconic green and yellow striped fucking leather mantled uh, <laughs> jacket with a yellow scarf. Scarf, yeah. Now what's um, that? What's that? Sorry. I'm I'm going into this uh, completely blind, um, not really mm-hmm. knowing much about the story other than it, it's Alexander. I wonder if um we're if we ever get to go back to Ludor. That would be that would be really interesting. Uh, I, I will attempt to spoil nothing because uh, I you are a lucky man getting to experience this for the first time. Yeah. I already know about Ooh, the absurdity that I'm about what to a experience. Lucky man I am. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's that uh, on the right. beach? What's that on yes, the beach? Yes, yes, there's something sparkling. Alexander's royal insignia ring lies abandoned on the sand. It must have slipped from his finger during the shipwreck. <laughs> Fortunately, it was not lost in the sea. I would be more willing to guess that it slipped from his finger while he was probably like crawling around on the sand half dead. But, you know, one of the half of six of one, half a dozen of the other. Tamp it into this. the sand. Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah, so um, this one t- took a while for me as a kid to figure out, but there's actually a little bit more you can do here. Alexander pushes the plank to one side. A box has been partially buried under sand. In the early playthroughs, mm-hmm. I uh, tried to emulate this guy's voice as best as I could. In, in uh, oh yeah, in, in, in I King's Quest that. one and two and three and four. Well, th- this is a disappointing box. There's a copper coin in the treasure box. The coin bears the seal of Devontry and King Graham's noble face. Alexander takes the coin and leaves the ruined box where it is. Now, I wonder. So, I mean, obviously, uh, Daventry has legal tender. Yeah. Um, If the king has literally unlimited money and therefore absolutely no need to, like, uh, take taxes from his peasants or anything like that, uh, and presumably is a good king, so probably provides for his people. Yeah. What's the point of minting coins? Uh, for Funsies. other places, yeah, and fun, fun and profit. Okay, there you go. Yeah, all right. Flicking at one another, playing beer pong. <laughs> a hollow in the trunk of the old tree forms a perfect nesting place for wildlife. For your hand. <laughs> in the distance, a majestic castle shines in the sun. To the left, a small village seems to invite the weary traveler. All right. Well, I guess the first, you know, being uh, a nobleman myself, perhaps I should uh, start off by, uh, yeah, obviously, should, you know, we'll, go to a castle first. We'll right? go introduce yeah. ourselves to the royalty and, and maybe, you know, hook up with Cosima. Go pay some yes, fucking respect. Fantastic. Damn right. Two guards take their stance in front of the castle doors. They look quite fierce and have the stiff, blank expression of soldiers on formal duty. (laughs) All right. Also the look of dogs. Alexander politely addresses the odd-looking guards at the castle doors, hoping to learn more about his predicament. Good day to you, guards. I was cast upon this island in a storm, and I'm a little confused about my location. Could you tell me what place this is and who lives in this castle? Hey, what is that you say? A castaway? A likely story. We haven't had any foreigners in this part since El Hazaret arrived. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, don't be so rude, Gruff. He's not asking for any secrets. <laughs> You're standing on the Isle of the Crown, lad. And this is the Castle of the Crown. The royal family resides here. Uh, rather, what's left of the royal family. The Isle of the Crown? But tell me, am I... Anywhere near the land of the Green Isles? Am I dead? This is the land of the Green Isles. The Isle of the Crown is the main island, foolish boy. Then Princess Cosima must live in this very castle. Aye, the princess is indeed our treasure jewel to God, and we consider it an honor. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well. Excuse me, guardsman. Uh, uh... Guard dogs, I've been traveling for months to see Princess Cosima. I would like an audience, please. 
I'm sorry, but the princess is not receiving visitors, particularly not strangers. So, one, one thing. Yes? They crashed just outside the Green Isles, and they've been traveling yep. for months. And he hopes Absolutely. his men get in the lifeboats and sail for months back to Daventry. I mean, you know, it, it, it does not lending very much credence to the whole Alexander is a master salesman. Or say, salesman? <laughs> Sailing? Sailman? What the Sail-or? fuck is the word I'm looking for? Seaman? Sailor. Sailor. I, Sailor. I, I, think Sailor. I, I think I prefer salesman. <laughs> Sales- salesman. <laughs> All right. Master Salesman, Alexander of Daventry. All right, we, all right. It seems right, to me right, that right. this situation can be easily solved with two milk bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just chuck them into the bush. Done. That'd be perfect. Yeah, yeah. All right. But, oh, okay. So, well, here we are, folks. We are finally into King's Quest VI. I know that there, there hasn't been very much except for exposition in the opening uh, cinematic to the game, but I'm very excited that we're doing this right now. Uh, yeah, me too, man. I, I'm, I'm super excited. Oh, this yeah. This is a great yeah, game. Uh, me three, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> no, yes, 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 of course, quite, quite. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll see if there's a way that we can get an audience with uh, Princess Kasima next time. But I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Will milk Ta-da! bones be procured? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Join us next time. <laughs>